Here at Blair, I'm talking to Alice and Pam now from Guide Dog Scotland. Ladies, tell me a bit about your role within the organisation to kick things off. Alice, what about you? Hi, yeah, I'm from the fundraising department and obviously we're at Blair Athol for the four days to look at raising funds to name some puppies for guide dogs. So it costs approximately £5,000 to put a guide dog puppy through its training. So the idea is to name six puppies so that we can choose the name. Hopefully the first couple will be Blair and Athol. Um, and then we have a competition where members of the public can enter in and they can name a puppy as well. And so that's the idea to put them through their, their training. And have you had a good response so far? Yeah, we've had a really good response so far. It's been really busy. Um, people have been coming up to our stall, buying our doggy bandanas, buying our buff uh, neck scarves as well, um, putting money in donations. So it's been really, really positive. Um, and we've had lots of people doing blindfold walks as well, so they can get a bit of an idea what it's like to kind of walk um, with the dog with the blindfold on, so that it gives them a bit of an idea. So. And what about you, Pam? What's your role within the Guide Dogs organisation? Right, I'm the community engagement officer and I do a lot to deal with campaigning, with access issues and just letting people know about who can actually apply for a guide dog. Lots of myths out there about who can apply for a guide dog. People don't realise that we're not an ageist organisation. People of all ages can apply for a guide dog, including 90 year olds, um, as long as they're fit and able and they actually um, have an eye condition that means that the mobility is actually um, impeded and therefore they're finding it difficult to get in about throughout their community then obviously they can apply for a guide dog. It costs 50 pence for somebody with a visual impairment to apply for a guide dog. Yes, we've just said, you know, it costs £49,800 for a guide dog from birth to death or for the lifetime of the guide dog. Um, but that's because we actually pay for all the training, all the equipment. We can pay for the food, we can pay for the vet bills if required. Um, it's also just letting people know that they don't need to be totally blind to apply for a guide dog. And I think that's the most important thing. They don't be to, need to be totally blind. A lot of our guide dog owners still have some sight, but they have difficulty getting out and about. And Pam, who's this lovely boy beside you here? This is Cody. Um, he's actually a career change dog. Um, unfortunately, he was found to have an eye condition himself. Oh, no. So he's actually been career changed. But as you can see, you know, had he gone on to be a guide dog, he is a fantastic dog and he's made a wonderful he's pet lovely. for his uh, trainer. So Alice, I would imagine that you and Pam get an enormous amount of job satisfaction from working from Guide Dog Scotland. Yeah, absolutely. And every day is different. And I have met some of the most amazing people like during my time with Guide Dogs. Um, so many amazing people come and volunteer for us. The organisation, we've got about 10,000 volunteers within the organisation compared to about 1,000 staff. We just couldn't do what we do without our volunteers. And, um, you know, it's, it's testament to that today because we've had a lot of people up here volunteering with us. Um, and equally, all of our guide dog owners that we meet, um, you know, some fantastic, amazing characters, really lovely people. Um, so, yeah, it's just an amazing organisation to work for great job satisfaction. Absolutely. So, Pam, if people want to volunteer and want to join you and the team and, you know, give back a little bit and obviously work with some really amazing animals here, how would they do that? Again, if they get in touch with us actually through our website, it's www.guidedogscotland.org.uk and go onto the website and they can actually register through that. Um, they can also phone our Edinburgh office, which I can't remember the number offhand, <laughs> it's in my phone. Um, and also, and as I said, you know, I was speaking about campaigning. One of the most important things for us is campaigning to get better things for people with a visual impairment, not just for our guide dog owners, but everybody out there with a visual impairment. For example, dangerous dogs. Act, making sure that our dogs are not getting attacked and that's one of the most important things. Lots and lots of dogs going around here today, all very well behaved, all on leads and obviously uh, getting on well with everything and that is something that we're really really uh, keen on doing. But also silent vehicles. How many of us are actually driving around in cars, they've got the eco cars, you put the brake on, the engine noise goes out. For a visually impaired person that is a nightmare, they can no longer hear the car so they're not aware that there's a car actually there. So we're doing lots of campaigning and things like that as well. And again you can find out more about that by going on to the website www.guidedogscotland.org.uk 
Okay, ladies, and you said you're obviously working with the fundraising department at the moment, Alice, yes. so I better mention this before yes. we wrap up this interview. So if you're watching Scottish Equestrian TV viewers, then the Perthshire Amber, that is the Doogie McLean Festival, that's happening between the 25th of October and the 3rd of November this year, and some of the proceeds from that will be going to support these fabulous dogs and this amazing charity. So, you know, you've got the website address there, you see these lovely ladies, you could be working with them in a regular basis doing your bit and having fun volunteering as well I guess because this is a fabulous event yeah I think that you know that's one of the things that we do say to our volunteers as well it's just about having fun you know if you're not enjoying it why are you doing it so um, and I would think that they all do so yes okay thank you very much ladies Pam and Alice there and these two lovely boys from Guide Dog Scotland